Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I want to eat all of them. Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and happy 4th of July. Today, yes, today is an Independence Day. Well, if you're watching this today, the day that it comes out. However, if you're not, that's okay. This recipe is gonna be for you always. This is going to be something you're gonna want to keep in your back pocket forever, because we're gonna take a Joe Average cake mix, any cake mix, and you know that we have them, they're stuffed in the back of our pantry for a rainy day or maybe for the barbecue you forgot you're supposed to bring a dessert to and you're like, oh, maybe I'll make a cake. Don't really wanna make a cake. Guess what? We're gonna make cookies out of any box cake mix that you have. These cookies are the best cookies you probably will ever eat. And you'll wonder why we haven't been making cookies out of cake mix all of our lives. Are you ready for this adventure? I know that I am. And we're gonna do one better for you gluten-free folks. I'm gonna show you the gluten-free version as well. So let's get started on this Independence Day adventure. Let's go. Yep. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your oven preheated to 350. Then we're gonna want to pick our favorite mix. So today I am gonna use the butter pecan one first. And this is a 15.25 box of cake mix. If you have a bigger cake mix or a smaller cake mix, I don't know if they come in any smaller, measurements are practically the same. Don't worry about it. You don't have to do any kind of adjusting. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna get our whole cake mix into a bowl. We are gonna add two eggs and half of a cup of oil. And now we're just gonna beat this for about 30 seconds and, or until well combined. Okay, whoop, look at that. <laughs> I'm making a mess. All right, it's fine, it's fine, we're fine. It's fine. Okay, once it's thoroughly combined, we are gonna wanna spoon these onto a parchment lined baking sheet. If you don't have parchment yet in your life, oh my goodness, I can't recommend it enough. Um, it, it is my favorite tool in the kitchen. So now I'm gonna take the Pampered Chef large scoop cause I'm gonna make big cookies and I am just going to drop rounded spoonfuls onto this large half sheet baking sheet. Now you'll notice that I am putting them really fall ap far apart and that's because they actually need plenty of room to expand because they'll get to be quite large. All right, and if there are any large peaks sticking up, usually I like to just put them down so that, cause they're gonna, they'll flatten out a little bit, but not a lot. Okay, so we're gonna get this into the oven for nine to 12 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven now. And you're gonna know the cookies are done when they're turning brown around the edges. Now I'm gonna let these cool for about three minutes on the pan, then I'm gonna get them transferred into a wire rack. All right, next we are gonna do a strawberry cookie. So we're gonna take the strawberry cake mix, we're going to dump it into our bowl, and we are gonna add two eggs and a half of a cup of oil. And here's a little tip for you. If you want a smoothie cookie, you're gonna add one half teaspoon of orange extract into your batter. And then we are gonna blend it for 30 seconds. All right, and just like with the other ones, we are going to portion out these into a good portion of cookie here. We're gonna put six on a tray. And again, if you have a smaller tray, definitely gauge that, but they do need to be about two inches apart from each other. And then to make these cookies just a little punchier, we're actually going to add some freeze dried strawberries right over the top. And they'll just cook onto the top very beautifully. So then I'm just gonna take a little bit of strawberry and sprinkle it right on the top of these cookies. And we're gonna get them into the oven, 350 for nine to 12 minutes. And let's go for the gluten-free one next. 
Now the gluten-free one sets up just the same as the um, regular ones. This cake mix actually, it's from Krusty's, um, is a really fabulously tasting um, cake mix. It's not grain-free like some of them, but it is definitely a good one. Um, the main ingredients are sorghum flour, rice flour, food starch, and yeah, that's it. So this one is mainly made of sorghum and rice flour. So for this fantastic one, we are gonna do the same thing. We are gonna add two eggs, half of a cup of oil, but for this one, we're gonna add some chocolate chips because we wanna make them chocolate chip cookies. We're also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And homemade vanilla. For those of you who have ever wanted to make your own homemade vanilla, I just posted a video about that. This is the bourbon vanilla, but we made vodka vanilla. Okay, so that's all we need for this one for the moment. We will add the chocolate chips after the 30 seconds. So as you can see, unlike the other batters, the gluten-free batter actually kind of looks like a cookie batter. And that is because it's gluten-free, it just doesn't set up the same. So we're gonna add about a cup of chocolate chips into our mix here. We're just gonna add them right in. And then we're gonna use our hand or another spoon. I guess I can use a spoon, I'm, that way I don't have to wash. So I'm just gonna use a spoon and I'm gonna stir in those chocolate chips. And believe it or not, it smells exactly like chocolate chip cookie dough. So when you're doing these ones though, you are gonna need to do the hand transfer. So it comes out to about the same amount of cookies, but we're gonna want to transfer this to our hand and kind of make them into a cookie dough ball like this. And then we're just gonna put them right onto our baking tray like we did for the other one. And I use mini chocolate chips in case you're wondering. All right, and now that tray of cookies is ready to go in. All right, the final cookie we're going to make is going to be a lemon dreamsicle cookie. Oh yes, into the bowl it goes, along with our two eggs, our half a cup of oil, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now we're going to mix for 30 seconds. After our 30 seconds, we're gonna add in one cup of vanilla chips. Now, if you're bougie like me, you will buy the vanilla chips that have funfetti sprinkles in them. So we're gonna add about a cup of those, give or take a cup. Just kidding, just add a cup. You add any more, there'll be like too many. And we're gonna take our spoon, we're gonna give it a good stir and make sure there are these funfetti chips, which really are just vanilla chips with some funfetti in it. Um, make sure they are all mixed in really well and then we're gonna portion them out. And if you really wanna be extra, you can actually put a couple of the chips right on the tops of these so that they're sure to show through when they cook. And I'm extra. Mmm. Okay, uh, now those ones are gonna go in. And just like that, all of the fabulous cookies. Check these out. Those are the butter pecan. These are the strawberry orange smoothie. Um, those ones got left in an extra two minutes. Oops. <laughs> These are the beautiful gluten-free chocolate chip. And these are the lemon dreamsicle. And if you were one of those people that wanted to put icing on your cookies. These are the perfect cookies for icing. I did get some icing out, but I don't know that I'm gonna put any on. We'll see how it goes, but I wanted to break into them and show you the insides. So let's start with our butter pecan ones first. Um, if you did not know this came from a cake mix, just looking at them, you wouldn't know. Breaking into them, however, they are still soft and chewy, but they are very cake-like. So as you can see there, they are a little cakey in the cookie texture. 
but they are still delicious. Mm. They're almost like the consistency of a really soft, moist peanut butter cookie, but it's not a peanut butter cookie. This mm, is a mouth-watering butter pecan cookie. You could, mm, my mouth is watering. You could put some extra pecan pieces in there, but honestly, there is nothing about this cookie that isn't perfect. If you can find a butter pecan um, cake mix, you might need to try it. Oh, it's so good. Okay, the next one is our strawberry orange smoothie. So same thing, we're gonna break into it and I'll show you the inside up close. So as you can see, very cake-like, but it's a cookie. And we're gonna give it a taste. Oh. Something about fruit and cookies. Mmm. Mmm. The hint of essence is super fantastic. This actually might be one for a little frosting or a lot of frosting. Hold on. Because then you have that little bit like a smoothie, right? Right? Like a smoothie. Mmm. 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 -hmm. That one could use frosting every day of the week. Cake cookies are so good. All right, now the gluten free cookie, which really that should be the only one I'm eating, but <laughs> no judgment. Um, so as you can see, the gluten-free cookies definitely turn out different than the regular flour cookies. That's totally fine. They're just as fascinating. We're gonna break into them and oh, I wish I would have been close up. Maybe I can get close up and get it to do it again. Oh, you didn't see it. Oh, well, I, there was a little chocolate pull. But look at that. Look at those beautiful cookies. Those of us who are gluten-free, we know, we search for a good gl gluten-free cookie, and you guys, this one is good. Mmm. It's much crispier than the others, but it still has that chocolate chip cookie vibe, and it is. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know it came from, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Who's going to know? No one. No one's going to know. All right. Last but not least is our lemon dreamsicle cookie. Let's bust into that one as well. Oh, I didn't break it very well. And check out that inside. Looks amazing. You see that? And being that it's lemon dreamsicle, <laughs> there's going to be that fabulous lemon and then that vanilla and, oops, I'm dropping cookie stuff. Whoa, I swear I can't have nice things. Lemon dreamsicle. Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling you, fruit inside of a cookie, it blows your mind because you feel as though that shouldn't be there, but yet you're like, oh my word, this is so good everything about this. Put a little powdered sugar on the top if you want. Mm -mm -mm. Put on a little frosting and... Mm. <laughs> mm. Something about the fruit cookies and the frosting just goes ding! <laughs> it's so good. The frosting makes this one almost taste like one of those lemon bars. Mmm, that is so good. So what's my favorite? All of them. Box cake mix cookies are my favorite. I'll do them any day of the week. So cheap, for like $1.50, you can make yourself a dozen cookies in a snap. So, all right, you guys. Well, did you enjoy that adventure? Will you be making these for your 4th of July celebration? If you are, please leave me a comment. Tell me which box cake mix you use and let me know how it was received because I'm gonna tell you right now, people are gonna be like, who made the cookies? I need the recipe and it's your secret. 
If you want to share it, that's up to you. But if you don't, it's all our secret. If you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Although, if you're keeping the recipe a secret, don't share it with your friends. But I really want you to share it with your friends. Oh, such a conundrum. Anyway, I do videos several times a week and I'm always looking for the next adventure. So if you got an idea for me, leave it in the comments below. I read all of the comments and I am excited about what's coming up for the next couple months. So just so that you know, once I hit 10,000 subscribers, we are gonna do a fun giveaway. That is gonna be pretty epic. So you might wanna join me on the next adventure. So I hope you'll subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.